Hello everyone, KM Tech here, and one of the biggest indicators that a tech YouTuber is fresh out of ideas is when they do a what's in my bag video. So, welcome to my what's in my bag video. Starting off with the bag, it's the Slim Encase Icon Backpack and it's a pretty dang good backpack it was about a hundred dollars it's got this awesome back padding and i really throw this around every day and it has yet to show me any form of significant damage i love the gray color to it and it's also water resistant so that's a huge plus starting off with the first flap you can hear that sick zipper sound i keep no tech here. I have a little notebook that I've written notes on. If I need to make a list of things that I need to get B-roll of, I usually just write it in there and video ideas. And this is just a planner. So nothing too cool at all, which is the same thing that is in the next flap. So the next flap has one of these pins nothing too cool then this flap has a bag of all of the pens that I just showed you but they're different colors I also have other stuff like a mini stapler but who really cares all right now the first actual piece of tech that we're gonna look at is my headphones and they're in this really nice case I've always said that if it sounds like you're knocking on a door when you check the uh, durability of a case that's how you know it's good so inside I have my Bose SoundTrue headphones, which I actually did a review of. So if you want to see that, there's going to be a link in the description. I tossed those. I hope I didn't break them. Going on to this top little flap that I have, I keep my hand sanitizer, which is not a piece of technology. So I really didn't need to mention it at all. But the next piece of tech that I do have and I absolutely love is the Samsung T3 portable SSD. This is a 250 gigabyte model and this thing is a lifesaver. It allows me to edit videos on the go at a super fast speed. There's gonna be a video review of it coming up in the near distant future, and there's gonna be a lot of good things to say about it. And finally, the big flapperoony. This is the main compartment. So in the front, I have my Nintendo Switch in this nice Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild carrying case it doesn't sound like I'm knocking on a door so it's not that durable but it's Zelda Breath of the Wild so I can go ahead and uh, I can pass on that to be honest I just wanted to make this video a little more interesting so I threw my switch in here I hardly ever take it with me on the go but I really should start because it's great for taking little breaks if I'm at the library or the coffee shop and the Joy-Con can actually be paired via Bluetooth and I have some emulators on my laptop so I can play like side-scrolling games with it and it's actually a pretty neat device that I like. I also did a review of it and it's on my channel. I'll pop it up somewhere here. Next, I have the Amazon Basics carrying case. I don't have anything in it, I just have a carrying case. Next item, I'm just kidding. Okay, so first of all, that is one big door we're knocking on. So it sounds awesome. I absolutely love this carrying case. And I've got all sorts of knickknacks up in here. So first of all, I have the iMuto battery bank and this thing is a beast. I haven't charged it since maybe December. And as of right now, recording this video, I have 46% battery and I've charged my iPhone probably three or four times. I don't use it all the time, but I'm very thankful just to know that I have extra juice in my bag in case I need it. Next up, I just have my MacBook Pro charger, really nothing too significant there. And I have a variety of cables. I usually keep a micro SD cable in and the iPhone charging cube in case I am in an overnight situation and I need to charge my battery bank. So the next day I can still charge my phone because I do keep a lightning cable and a USB type C just in case I also need to charge my switch. Next up, I have a notebook. This notebook is a notebook. Now we have the biggest piece of tech, which is my 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro, which I don't actually have in my bag right now. I'm actually using it right behind me to record the audio for this video. And this thing is my go to. It's like adding another layer of myself. I carry it everywhere I go. I'm always in need of this laptop. I've had it for about two years now and it has yet to fail me in any department. Also, it still has a variety of ports to it, which the 2016 MacBook Pro obviously lacks. So 
I don't see my 2015 MacBook Pro going anywhere anytime soon. Well, there you have it, folks. That's what I carry in my bag on a day-to-day -day basis. I use almost everything that I carry with me, whether it's tech-related or not, and I love my setup. I mean, it's just... It's perfect for me and it works great. So if you needed some inspiration on what you want in your tech bag, hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more, hopefully, weekly content. Other than that, I'm KM Tech and I'll catch you in the next video.